Alright guys, welcome back to episode 5 of our Spain campaign. Now, this is the same recording session for me, but it's going to be a whole new episode for you guys. <laughs> so to catch you up, research, cruisers, coming, be excited, new light cruiser design, destroyers, coming, be excited, new torpedo boat destroyers, rangefinders, coming, 19 months, mines, coming, money, losing it, building new ships, don't worry. The Swedes will fund our war, which I'm sure they've done at some point. <laughs> They're not the Swiss, but I'm sure at some point they've just sat their happy little Swedish bums down on their battleships they bought from us and profited from a war. Or funded a war. Alright, so this episode is going to be a big engagement. We have battleships coming out. They're going to meet our fleet. It's going to be exciting. I might even they're coming out here all right then we are gonna go out there because i really want this engagement if you didn't if you couldn't tell i really want this engagement i think it's gonna be great all right we're gonna hit that next turn now let's if you guys want to let me know how often you'd like these to be uploaded that'd be great um currently i'm doing one every two days it seems like ooh. We didn't get a battle. They're too slow. What do they have though? Two battleships, three cruisers. Well, they've done it. They've sacrificed battleships to bait us away. Uh, good idea or not? I don't know. I'm assuming they know they're going to lose the war. And this is their way of, we're going to sacrifice some old battleships, but, and we're going to end this war quickly, but we're only going to lose some money. Which honestly is more than fine with me. Uh, the longer this war goes on, the stronger we become. We're going to get some research done. We've got cruiser designs. We're going to get some more turrets. Yep, these secondary double turrets. Uh, we already got secondary turret. Yeah, it'll be fun. Maneuver warfare, what's that going to do? Gun aiming speed, shell splash. That's huge. Mines, obviously coming along. Mine sweeping, take that. Hull protection, double bottom, take that. Uh, we'll probably, the moment this war ends, the moment these ships are built, honestly, these new battleships, they're going to have to be refit, and so is their old battleship. But, that's a problem for later. Right now, we have a battle. Fingers crossed. That's a battle. Or a meeting, sorry. So, if you remember, we looked at the Austrian Orbat, and we noticed they lack escorts. And if you lack escorts in this time period, oh, there's Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, he was a demon in episode one and two, if you remember those thumbnails. <laughs> uh, they like escorts. They like pickets, which means we can see them first and we can dictate the shape of the, eng of the engagement. We dictate the tempo. Uh, my tempo, as always, is aggression. Decisive engagements. That's what win wars. We don't want to drag it on. I don't want an occupation. I'm not going to be welcomed as a liberator. I'm going to take what I want and leave. This isn't your gentlemanly warfare of the 19th century. Despite still being in the 19th century. Alright, we're going to pause this. I'm going to reorganize our ships. We've got a lot of screening forces. That's fine for the most part. I see we have our picket line. Beautiful. These guys are going to range ahead. Max speed. We have another one over here. Awesome. Range ahead, max speed. What else we got? Everyone else is screening, scouting, or following. I'm happy with that. We have battleships, we have cruisers. I don't usually like people in screens because they just get bunched together and they get hit. The game's got a weird bug. If you aim for the ship behind the ship in front of it, you're gonna hit that ship in front of it. It kind of like makes you 100% accurate almost. Ooh, watch that frame rate drop. That's fun. That's fun. It should smooth itself out as things start to happen. Uh, we'll slow down the time too. Just move the mic a bit closer. Alright, so these guys are in range ahead. Where was the enemy spotted? Southwest. Alright, pickets, go. So, in modern day times, these are called radar pickets. Obviously, we don't have radar, we don't even have radio. But I'm just going to assume, even on this foggy day, which is actually perfect for our strategy of swarming them with light surface vessels. 
It's going to be great. All right. Cheers, guys. You're also going to go southwest. Oh, that's us. Bang. We're going to slow this right down. That's our mark. In fact, we're going to pause this. And just real quick, we're going to get a thumbnail. Just because... This is a great image. Right here. Alright, we're going to control alt shift z and we're going to F12. Bang. Alright, sorry for that guys. Thank you for bearing with me. It's like the background admin. I don't know if I'm going to cut it out or if you guys are going to enjoy it. I'll probably just leave it in, even if it's just for laziness sake. Let's hope we can get out away from their secondaries. We don't have a massive torpedo range on these guys. We also don't care if they live or die. So <laughs> they're going to go right through the middle. And we're just going to disrupt this formation. Uh, battle line is doing 8 knots. Now these guys don't have smoke yet. It's unfortunate. But they are quick. Ooh, he's going to try and run. Alright, they're going to split their formation. That's fine. In fact, I'm going to encourage it. I'm going to sail right down the middle. That's going to hurt. Ooh, there we go. And the torpedo boats start to die. Alright, we're going to head them off. I want them to run into my screen. I want them to run into my screen, and I want them to feel fear. Right, let's see what's happening. So do these guys. They're peeling off. They want to get away. Are these the battleships? Oh, please tell me we've isolated the battleships. Oh, I don't think it takes a tactical genius to see what we're doing. We are corralling. Much in the same way you want to get cattle into a paddock. That's what we're doing with the Austrians. I think I could get his torpedoes off before he sinks. That'd be great. Not really expecting it, though. Oh, he is really just... He's their guy. We're going to detach him. Which is fine. These guys are going to take over. This guy, just retreat if you can. Uh, I think he's sunk already, but if you can, retreat. I'm amazed their gunnery is so good. Honestly, they're going so quick. That, I believe, will be our first dead torpedo boat. It will not be the last. If we finish this battle with any, I will be personally amazed. Shocked, even. More my battle lines at one point. Eh, it's not going to happen. Okay. That's fine. Oh, for doing 20 knots, they're really not catching up that quickly. Which is unfortunate. Jeez. Stop. <laughs> they're, just, they're running. They are fleeing in terror. I mean, we may have to break off and try and get ahead of these guys if they don't stop. This thing. Uh, where are the sea ops? Alright, I'm going to break you off as a battle line as well. Because you got smoke. You're not as quick though. But you also have more torpedo boats. More torpedoes, sorry. Not more torpedo boats. Oh, they're running into it. Yes, yes. Please, please, please stay on that current course. Yes, please do not change. Just stay what you're doing. Just stay what you're doing. Because this, this homeboy here is just going to let you have it. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. No. <laughs> oh, all he had to do was get off some torpedoes. Oh, I don't even know who's who or who's sinking or who's what anymore. They're all sinking. They're all sinking, really. Really, they're all sinking. Jesus, what are your secondaries? Oh, the insta-killing. I'm calling hacks. <laughs> I'm calling insta-killing hacks. That's torpedoes in the water, though. They're not going to spot it. And dud torpedoes. Always the way. Always the way. Dud torpedoes. Well, he might get revenge from beyond the grave here. Oh, that's not a dud torpedo. That is a damaged rudder. Right, and they're going straight into our battle line. Yes, please. Yes, please. 
please. Light cruisers, please. Let's go this way. Torpedoes in the water. That's torpedo hits. Torpedo hits right. No. No. Okay. Ah, that's torpedo hit right. More torpedoes in the water. Torpedo hit. More torpedoes in the water. He's already sunk. He's already sunk. This guy's sunk yet. He just doesn't even know it. And that will be that. All right. Well, that's the battle plan. <laughs> it worked. What do you know? We had to take some hits to deal some damage. You see that, like 28k damage taken. Like, it is what it is. Um, there's not really a whole lot we could do about it. Uh, these guys just, just retreat. Honestly, I'm happy. Uh, same with these guys. Just retreat. If any of you are still alive, just retreat. I'm going to turn right here. We're going to try and play the rest of this a bit smarter. We now have the firepower advantage. Oh, these are more or less terrible cruisers. Well, my battleship should have a field day with these. Honestly, they should. Like, the whole fleet should have a field day. And you know, if the enemy's going to benefit from the glitch, then so am I. Is it a glitch? I don't know. It kind of makes sense. You have a ship in front. Your f all the shots that fall short are now going to hit. So I don't know if calling it a glitch is really the right word to use. We shoot so slow. <laughs> we really do. What are these guys? Um, you break off. You're no longer screening. You're now killing. Oh boy, here I go killing again. That's that's these guys. He's still a bit of it. Screening. Ah, no longer screening. You are no longer screening. You're now torpedoing. Are these guys a little bit more nimble than... Oh, jeez. Okay, where's my battle line? Just please, just keep going. Keep going, full speed. If you please. Man, this guy would just be in torpedo range naturally, wouldn't he? Not even as part of a... Oh, he's part of a battle line. Interesting. Who is this guy? Yes! Kill! Kill! Oh, he hasn't seen it. That's him done. That is him done. Bang. That's him done double. This guy doesn't see what I see, which is torpedoes in the water. Ricochet. He's too close. How quickly can you turn, mate? I think he's going to escape these torpedoes. I don't even think I'll make fired torpedoes. Interesting doctrine you have there. The doctrine of not firing. This guy's not doing too great, shall I? Uh, you've got mates. They still have torpedoes. I would like them to use their torpedoes, if at all possible. Uh, detach, vigilante, and kill. Close in. Yes. Yes, please. We're just going to bracket them with torpedoes. We can at this point. We can and we will. And speaking of which, this will probably be it unless it's a dud. He is turning. He's so desperately trying to turn. That was a dud. That's unfortunate. Uh, these won't be duds. These will not be duds. I want you to keep going straight to get off your bow torpedo. That's them gone. Bow torpedo. And that's that. That's all she wrote, I believe. 
And that's the battle. Alright, episode 5? 6. Episode 6. Off to a great start. I will tank that piece now. If you please. <laughs> I don't need to kill the rest of your battleships. In fact, I don't even need your land. Um, might take it. I, I might keep the round to beat up later. I don't know. They are keeping me in the positive while I'm building these battleships. But I think the savings will mean more. I'm going to start losing transport ships. I really don't want to go into that death spiral again. Yeah, that's... That's that. Okay, what are these battles? More of their terrible, terrible cruisers against my good cruisers. How many of these do they have? Okay, well, for one, we're going to go into politics. We're going to push for peace. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to fight some battles. Okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm not fighting this. All oh, resolve this. Right. Okay. What, what about this? Do I fight this? It's the same battle we fought last episode. We go in, beat them. They can't hit anything. We can't really hit anything. Oh, let's all resolve it. We s okay, the Bagona side. We did care about them. We did. We did the same amount of damage. We could I have won that? Yes. Should I have won that? Maybe. We lost some old cruisers. That's probably about it. And we're still... The war continues. Uh, naval funds for naval prestige and relations? No. I'm not, I'm not giving my enemy money. That's a terrible idea. Uh, we're repairing some ships. And then we're going to... Alright. Fleet in Barcelona. Who are we repairing? A whole bunch of CLs. It's really not a massive fleet now. Do I wait a turn? How long are these things going to be repairing? If I wait one turn... Okay, if I wait one turn, they'll all be repaired. Then we can just ambush them then. Uh, we still have four cruisers here. That's cool. Fleet. These things build in 11 months. That's good. Ship design. Uh, we will wait. We'll wait for double bottom. Then we'll start making ships. Do we wait for gun layout? Put in superimposed large gun. Uh, that's not going to help for light cruisers and destroyers, which is what we're building. We'll build light cruisers, then we'll build destroyers, right? Strike, battle, strike. <sighs> They're going to start killing transports. I knew I should have just jumped in. Yeah. This way we know we're going to win. Before, it was iffy. And like I said, decisive engagements. That's what I take. That's gonna suck. I only destroyed one. It's still still gonna suck. Uh Sweden would like a heavy cruiser. Yes. <laughs> it's simply because it's gonna fund the war. And it doesn't push us over the cap. Really we should be building this up. Uh what's six months? What can we build in six months? Make it a little bit bigger. Alright, do it. And uh, there's a battle here too. We resolve. Alright, this fleet in Barcelona is going to move here. I like how I never got any strike missions while going up and down that coast. Seems kind of strange. Alright, what's this fleet? It's got some torpedo boats, some light cruisers, six battleships. So on paper, they should win. But I don't think they will. No meeting. Okay, so they've gone somewhere. Where have they gone? What, they're running away? Wow, well, we'll kill this guy. I have no problem with doing that. Cruiser on cruiser. I mean, realistically, I'm the Admiral. Am I on one of these ships fighting one of these smaller engagements? No. That would be very strange. So, why would I be there? Okay, so we're going to go back in. We're going to sit right off their coast. 
a meeting. Oh yeah, that's this one. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna sit right off their coast. And we're gonna try and get some strikes. If they're gonna hide in port, then honestly, we're just gonna do as much damage as we can. I'm gonna auto resolve this, they're gonna send it. They did a fuck they did a lot of damage. Sorry, pardon my French. Um, but they did that one cruiser did more damage than their entire fleet. No, well they're that is why you shouldn't be lazy. Because uh, that just scuppered... Right, well, because that was so ridiculously close, we're going to fight this. Because that was too close. Honestly, ridiculously close. <coughs> oh, pardon me, guys. North east. All right. Let's go. I actually love the look of these things. I love the look of the Mark II guns. They just they're so good. And we we're good across the board, right? All right these are all new. Is this screen? No, not screen. Follow all. That's it. And now we're going to slow down to cruising speed. We're going to turn right and we're going to set ourselves to tight formation. Because I want the accuracy bonus from cruising speed. We're going to keep it at five. We're going to concentrate fire on the lead ship. Yeah, we've got a 2.3% point, point chance to hit already. We might get something. I don't want to close too much. I know we have the gunnery advantage. I just I don't want to get in close enough for those 11 inches to do anything. Because we know they can hit. And we know they can hurt. I believe one of these ships probably just came out of dry dock from that engagement. So if we can sit back and have a good old-fashioned gun duel. I'm going to do that. Who is still shooting at this guy? I, I don't know who's shooting at him, but it's called concentration of fire, guys. You gotta concentrate your fire. Right, what's what's their aim doing here? Shoot info. Cruising speed bonus flagship communication bonus. Engine vibration, other gun splashes, gun recoil. Okay, there's a reason we're not hitting much. It's good to know. We are reloading very fast, which I like. That's what we want. We're just going to keep that up. I think our secondaries are just ruining the probe for the Gins. I don't know why I didn't say that in a German accent. Yeah, I'm on the but against, yeah. Camp for the next episode. <laughs> look at look at how much quicker we fire. What are we firing at? Reload time fifty seven seconds. What are they reloading at? We literally we almost get off two rounds to their one. And I like that we're gradually closing because eventually our torpedoes and our secondaries will keep doing more and more damage, and that's what we want. Oh, and that might be them. That might be them. All right, guys. On to the next victim. They're heading to the rear of the formation, but I don't think they've got long to... <laughs> I don't think they have long... On this water. Although they have the watertight bulkheads, stop the flooding. We'll just keep peppering the front of the class, although they are still firing. Alright, let's not let them get better. 
It's just keeping two guns in the action that don't need to be in the action. It's as simple as that. It's why you concentrate fire, right? Overpan not flooding. So yeah, this is what we call a SAG, or a surface action group. That's your basic unit when you go to sea. You'll have a high value unit normally and some escorts. Here we don't. This is just a cruising squadron. So what you call is a SAL, or a search and attack unit. If you left your NATO code words, it's cowboys. Bang, bang, bang. So I was having a bad day. His comrades have just left him for dead. His oppos, whatever. These ones are built far better than they were in previous episodes. Bang. I mean, if I was going to do a thumbnail for this, I might even put like, we can't like get real princeps have all the thumb. <laughs> Prince Joseph adds some of the saddest last words I've ever heard. As he died, he cradled his also dying wife and said, Sophie, don't die, live for our children. Which, I mean, inbred monarch, maybe. I think he was doing a lot for the Serbs and the minorities in the Empire at the time. I mean, I know it's a Hitler quote, but Hitler said that in doing so, the Serbs probably killed their greatest friend in the Austro-Hungarian government. Which, I mean, they eventually got their independence anyway through the good old-fashioned ultra-violence. But maybe there was another way. We'll never know. There certainly was not a way that the Austro-Hungarian throne stayed, like, stable. I, I think that empire was well and truly gone. The days of just being able to sit on a throne and govern people by the divine right <laughs> of man or whatever, uh, the divine right to rule, like, governing via trust me bro and, like, just rolling dice to see how good the next dude's going to be. Ooh. Okay. They suddenly got accurate. Alright, once again. That damage control is coming in clutch. But, uh, it goes to show how, quick, how um, quickly these battles can turn. The strange part is we moved. Like, you'd think they would shake off their accuracy. Maybe that's why. Maybe they're so inaccurate that us moving actually brought us into the path of a shell that would have missed. I can believe it. Let's keep one to fire at this guy. The Kaiserin und Koningen Maria Theresa. The Koning. I apologize. I did, actually, I took German at university, so I I really have no excuse to mispronounce any of these names. But uh, you just do that to get a C, right? I don't know how much I actually learned. We're still getting that cruising ship bonus. If we get a hit, that'd be amazing. Well, we still have AP shells left. Interesting we run so low on them so quickly. I wonder if that's just like a habit of this stage in history or... Man, we're panning with the four inch. That's crazy. I don't want to be panning with that. I think I want to be setting fires. Oh, that's going to hurt. Innsbruck.
That was a big sound for not very much damage. <laughs> If we could just focus down one target, please, that'd be fantastic. I'm amazed by how much at two inches, uh, four inches are missing. They have a ten percent shot to hit, and they're firing tons of them. You think eventually you hit something, right? that uh, if you'll excuse me guys and with that we're back guys I think we're gonna be in the same situation as last time be three ships instantly and then be stuck slowly whittling down the third <laughs> he's targeting the Santa Maria that's not sportsmanlike smart Wait, it's already almost damaged. Really, I should be. Um, uh, where is it? Santa Maria. I should really detach it and then retrieve it. There we go. Alright, so the Santa Maria is getting out of here. These guys can turn around and try to provide cover. Because I guarantee he'll, he'll chase. Pardon me. I apologize to that, guys. We well, might not get a chance if we keep getting hits like that. The Kaiserin and Koningen Maria Theresa. That's not very German, is it? <laughs> like of the Santa Maria is firing off. As it goes. Bloodied but not beaten. And that's why damage control is important, ladies and gentlemen. Damage control wins battles. Damage control and damage dealt. I'd really like the 10 times to become available. That'd be nice. It'd be great if the Santa Maria could deal the last blow. That'd be great. Alright, we're back broadside. We're a little bit closer in. Not twenty four percent chance to hit. Should really be doing more than we are. Oh, speaking of, well, I willed that into being, didn't I? That's it. It's past the water type bulkhead. That's two. He's gonna struggle pumping that out. It's a good thing these cruises are so terrible. We'd really be in struggle. We'd really be in trouble if they had better ones. Oh, this is a terrible design. <laughs> the sounds of just randomly firing off around every now and again. Oh, um, sometime today. I might just have to run it down here. Just run it down, try and finish it off with torpedoes. I think that gives it more chance to hit. Alright, that's a 0% chance to hit. Oh, 
I mean, it's a good thing it's bow mounted. If it was a folks mounted, they'd be in trouble. In even more trouble than this. I just can't believe they didn't put any secondaries on it. It's a huge oversight from the uh, Austrian building committee. I wonder what they were thinking. He's actually out. We've actually burned through all of our nine inch ammo. Have we? Ah, I still have three hundred rounds of HE left. I feel like if we had AP, this would be done by now. Sun away to slow down. We don't want it to actually. We'll match course. Come along for the broadside. Ow. What was that pen with? I don't really know. It's just gradually losing crew at this point. Why don't we get it to surrender? Ah, uh, it's more flooding. It did not need that. It did not need more flooding. I believe the angle's too bad. And that's it. Alright, we'll see how we go. Take that. I'll throw a peace treaty again. I might have already agreed to, I'm not sure. Damage, yeah, there's still some damage here. Who's moving to Barcelona, right? Oh. Good bug again. Alright. Do we get peace? Surely we get peace. If we don't get peace, you just start raiding their merchant vessels. I don't think they're going to come and engage us. Not with their remnants of a fleet. The war continues. Alright, uh, that's what they want. We are repaired? No. There's some huge repair time on these guys. We'll have bankrolled Sweden by the end of this. We got one more to build. Plenty of, sp plenty of spare change. Maybe they know how much we're bleeding a turn. <laughs> That is all a calculated effort on their part. Alright, one thing's for sure. Yeah, hurry up that rangefinder. Still three. We want the small guns. Mark two six inch. Uh for the cruiser, yes, for the destroyer, no. So we'll build the torpedo boat destroyer now. Might end up the uh finish off the episode with that. Torpedo Boat Destroyer. How big can we make it? Eight hundred tons. You're gonna let me do it. Twenty nine knots. Uh, we're going juice, triple steam expansion. Uh, tower four. Eighty nine, that'll be enough. We're only putting a two inch gun on it. And what else do you want? Torpedoes. That's what else. Five? Yeah, I'll take five. 
<laughs> Seven an inch, we don't care about the rest of the roll, don't care. Literally don't care. The Havana, done. Call that done. Actually, it's eighty nine percent, wasn't it? Which is what's a little bonus. Better. There we go. So the Havana. What if we can build, I don't know, six of these? It's not many. For a torpedo boat, not many. For the torpedo boat destroyer, it's kind of a middle ground. I feel like we'll get proper destroyers soon. Alright, let's build six. I know finances, but... Oh, we're actually over the bill cap. What does that do for our repair times? Nothing. They're prioritized. That's fine. We'll put these in Valencia. Done. Alright, and with that, we are going to... Ah, oh, they're selling. These guys are selling. What have we got to face them with? That is not. That auto battle is really going to come back to bite us. Of course. What we can do is move them up here and then move these guys in there. That might give us enough tonnage. They're going to be there. We're going to be here. Right. Alright, let's go. <laughs> God, we have five months away. It's a meeting. I don't like that. I wonder if our fleet's met up first. If they didn't, we might have to withdraw from this. No, they met up. Well, definitely not ending on this. We might have to split this into a next episode. We'll see. Might have to be a part one and two, but we'll do what we can. This is the battle of the century. Right here. Alright, we're going to have to force it. <laughs> Alright, there's a HVU. Oh, it looks like our new battleships are never going to live to see this war. Not if today goes all well. Beast. Alright, so we're going the right way. Yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the cruisers into one formation. No. Oh, the battleship. Yeah, that's better. Now, these guys... These guys can form a little picket, and these guys can also form a picket. I would have liked more light cruisers, but it's going to be a bit more of a conventional battle than I would have liked, and that's fine. I don't know how good their battleships are, but I feel like we don't have a huge amount to worry about. No, we have, I feel like our new cruisers kind of make up for it. They're pocket battleships. Dang, that's us. Let's slow that right down. Alright. Bring you down to eight. We're in tight, yes. Cruising speed eight. We're gonna angle off. 
torpedo boats, there's a circle, high cruisers, and then I charge ahead. I'm trying to keep my torpedo boats alive <laughs> this time. Uh, might be futile, but it's just, I feel like they're better off as a final punch. They just don't have, at least until they get smoked. Although, that, that's just so juicy, being able to run straight up there. Right. I'm going to fire at the furthest away. Actually, no, we're going to fire there. Yeah, it's a bit of it. Anything? No. I want you to follow the main battle line, for now. Oh, the CLs. CLs can kind of do what I want. They got to smoke up. They smoke up. They got to hit it as fast as they can. I'm going to do all we can. Just disrupt this formation, really. It's not shooting at us. It's very strange. Surely we're within range. These light cruisers are going to be a concern. We can torpedo them, they can torpedo us. It's as simple as that. Speed isn't going to protect us forever. What we need to do is follow these torpedo boats. If we can screen and these guys, that'd be fantastic. Try and go HE on everything. We're dealing with these little cruisers. Little cruisers, maybe not that little. Yeah, six inch guns. There you go. Basically just telling them to keep their distance right now with this maneuver. So these guys can engage the light cruisers. That'd be awesome. A lot of it's a lot of blocks. Oh, you should be going A B. <laughs> Turn that out. Torps away. Torps away. No, 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 no torps. Really, definitely torps away here though, right? My God knows. Yeah, we're gonna have to set them to aggressive. Okay, my CLs have completely failed to uh, provide any sort of torpedo engagement. Um, I don't know if that's because we're moving too fast or what. It's very strange. In fact, it seems like they've just kind of managed to get themselves killed. Well, and that's, they're ramming. I don't know why they're ramming, but they are. In fact, we're really struggling to sink these CLs. Right, we got one. Now oh, we've got two, sunk one. It's not bad. For a first stage of the engagement, it's not bad. What we will do is we're going to split off 
Vigilante and Gattatano. Uh, Division 5. Yeah, you guys can be your own thing. And you can go this way as fast as you can. Please, this way as fast as you can. You guys, uh, just follow these guys. <laughs> uh, what are these guys going to do? You're going to turn hard right. Hard right, stay slow. Please tell me we've, we've got a torpedo off, right? Right. Ooh, he's not doing well. <laughs> they just put a torpedo in the water towards this guy. Oh, I don't think he needed that. I mean, it'll finish him off, but I don't think he needed it. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, we're just going to try and... We're going to hit into the mass here. Well, that's not... Torpedo bolt. Bang. That's that. We can turn hard and get the uh the rear torpedo into him. Well, we're doing enough to sink their CLs, that's for sure, which is important. Now the volcano is just aggressive, man, aggressive. And is it sunk? That's sunk. All right. Yeah, you guys gotta just retreat, honestly. Just retreat. Um, you, oh, I guess they're all done. Okay. Well, that didn't quite go how I imagined it, but. It's up to them to chase us now. Bloody hell. What was that? What hit you? Just nine inches. Wow. We're saving the Petronilla, but that's that's fine. We still got the torpedo boats. They can split off and engage once we've killed enough of everything else. What we really need to do actually is turn this way. Come back around like that so. A nice big elongated line. Try to just increase the speed a little bit. Accuracy's that we've got enough guns. Accuracy's not gonna really bother us. Fair to torpedo range. Dang it, what we're gonna need to do is have this guy split off. Speed up. Right now they're just getting flogged. Um, yeah, they can split off, become their own unit. Okay. You can attach and just retreat if you can. Most of you. 
the face goal, so just detach and uh, retreat if you can. The rest of you, <laughs> the, the mighty survivors. They're going to see what they can do if they come this way. These guys are going to see what they can do if they come this way. You can head the formation off up there. Well, we kind of just lost two torpedo boats for no reason there, which is unfortunate. Who are these guys shooting at? It should really be these torpedo boats. That's who I want to die. The high T1. Uh, this is a pretty intimidating gun line to go against if anyone felt like it. Retreat, mate. Retreat. <laughs> Max speed. <laughs> mate, if they try to rush us, we I think we have the firepower to just cook. Just... So just pop off against anything that comes close to us. Just concentrated fire. Just focus something down. And that will be that, I do believe. God knows how we hit it. Oh no, that's the torpedo boat. We actually missed the light cruiser and killed the torpedo boat. That's what happened. That's hilarious. We're doing well damage-wise so far. And also, we got to remember our cruisers also have torpedoes. We have just hated their battleships, so we can't get too close. Although I doubt they're very good. Would be my guess. There we go, anyway. Alright, the 10-inches have got a hit. 11-inches got a hit. Okay, we can end now, or we can push on. And really try to take out these battleships, which I think is what I want to do. Getting these guys out of here will be huge. They already damaged its victory points. Like, we leave them without a navy, essentially. I believe we've already sunk two. So, any more is just... Icing on the cake, really. Now, we're going to lay into the Carl. I'm going to speed it up. Jesus. He's having a bad day, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know. Are they chasing down the CL or are they trying to run? I don't know. We're going to even off the rate of approach here. I just, I really believe in our nine inches. I just think they're more accurate. <laughs> I forgot about the four torpedo boats. And they have low fuel too. We might just retreat them. They're not, yeah, we'll just retreat them. They're not doing anything here. This is not a fight for them now. That thing has to die. No, no, no. Do not, do not close with it. Just kill it. And I had so much faith in my secondaries and now I'm starting to question it. They are getting very close. Well, it only takes, it takes one good one. Something like that. That'll do. Like 
Just take the one behind it by accident. Okay. Yeah, back to the Carl. Stuff you, Carl. Oh, he's 11 inches. I thought we'd have better, a better shot. But he's 9 inches. I thought we'd have a better shot. Yeah, we definitely might have split this one into a part one and two, which is fine. It's a flash fire. Bang. That is an unhappy day for some Germans. Let's see if we can get flash fires again. I wonder if they just don't have barbettes, but they got all like the gun cotton upgrades. All the things that bust up your flash fire chance. I think they're learning any hits back. I don't know if they are. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Yeah, so they're still those 11 inch guns. They're doing the damage. Oh, the nine inches are definitely showing up today. Like secondaries are gonna go HE. Let's try and set some fires. There we go. Locked fire. Everything's fire. Are they going for a torpedo run? <laughs> Maybe they are. Are we going to burn it down to the waterline here? Maybe. Oh, that was accidental. <laughs> you can't tell me that was on purpose. What even hit that? An 11 inch. <laughs> it's just unnecessary. Maybe not accidental. Unnecessary. <laughs> oh, he's having trouble, but this is the guy coming into torpedo range here. Whatever he thinks. I see this guy studied <laughs> Nelson at Trafalgar. But I think there might have been a reason no one's done this since. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Not for us, but for them. Well, they are getting some hits. It's not one-sided. Kind of one-sided. I mean, Budapest has been burned down in the background. Look at that, that is fire everywhere. Well... Nice proud flag in the foreground. And that will be that, I would say. Not sure what made them just charge us at the end, whether they want to just get a better chance to pen, or they just thought their accuracy would be better. I mean, changing these to HE was a good call, I reckon. Look at that. There's no amount of damage control is going to stop that. Your entire... Yeah. The entire build just flooded. That's the engine space is gone. And that's victory points. I dare say there may be a peace treaty after this. <laughs> if if I had to guess. And I think we'll just take the money. I mean, the money letting us run at a deficit for a little while. That's going to be... It's going to benefit us.
and that, this, and that. Surely they want a peace treaty after that. Maybe they can't because the other stuff's tanked. Well, I'm going to try the peace treaty again. <laughs> Hopefully they accept it this time. I don't know what else they're going to fight me with, really. I don't know why they would continue the war. Unless they just think they can bankrupt me eventually. Which, I mean, could be a plausible play, but I'm going to get them first. There won't be a town standing. The war continues. Wow. What are they then... Genuinely, what do they think they're going to accomplish? I'm just going to, I'm literally just going to move off their coastline and just start ruining their economy. I don't care about these. You can do what they want. I'll hunt them down with some of my smaller ships when they get built. No, look at that. They can go through the Gibraltar Strait, but I can't? Why does that make sense? Okay, we'll just stand here. That's very strange. Are we... Do the, do the Poms not like us? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That's very strange. But they're allowed to go through. You know, they could do some damage out there now that I know what I can't get after them. That's unfortunate. Well, I know I've got to station stuff outside the Gibraltar Straits now. I sort of never thought a neutral power would get so involved. Oh, that has been... This will be an extra long episode, which I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I can't wait to play some more of this.